what's up everybody this is Zach B and welcome back to blowout gaming as you can see we are jumping right into it today with a settings video wild dinos tame dinos we're gonna go through it all smash the subscribe button let's get started now there's two main tabs that we're gonna be taking a look at both the general and the advanced settings have to do with your dinos the difficulty level here first and foremost is going to determine the difficulty of the game but really what that means for us is how high is the max level dino that's going to be spawning on the map one is going to be the highest that we can do on single player which means that our max levels are going to be 150. the second big factor when it comes to our dino settings that we want to take into consideration is our dino resistance now honestly this dino resistance can be a little tricky basically the higher the number here on the settings the lower your resistance and the lower your resistance the more damage your dino is going to do okay so that basically means that i'm going to attack this mantis here for 500 damage and then it's going to attack me and you can see that it's going to do around 99 damage back okay so let's go back to the home screen this time I'm going to cut that one in half we're gonna be at 0.5 and now I have a lower number which means that it's going to be more resistant so when I go back to this pack of mantises you can see that they're actually only doing 91 I know that there's a lot of damage numbers there's mate boosted all sorts of stuff going on and then of course you can see I'm only going to do 225 to them which is half of the amount that I was doing to the mantis before the higher the number the lower the resistance the more damage typically i try not to get too crazy with this but you could definitely affect how much damage your dino is going to do and because of all these other settings that we're going to go over you can make these dinos extremely op now we'll drop down here to the xp multiplier and you can see that we're already set to three times which is going to be three times the xp that we are going to be getting with our dinos and then we're going to drop down further dino character stamina drain and dino character health recovery so they make it really easy guys you can obviously increase this or decrease this to change how quickly that stamina is going to drain along with the health and how fast it's going to recover really guys you can play around with it you can make it so that your dinos never lose any stamina and they're always gaining health as fast as possible that's just the general settings guys like i said let's jump over to the advanced page and take a look at some of this we're going to go straight down here and the first category you can see wild dino stats per level now guys this is pretty self-explanatory each one of these stats that you can level up in the game you can preset in the settings menu so the wild dino stats per level means that we are going to be able to increase each of these stats for the wild dinos that are going to be spawning on the map we can increase their health we can increase the stamina i always personally like to increase their weight who doesn't want to automatically have a super tanky dino with plenty of weight you can scroll down here to the next category and you can see tamed dino stats per level again same thing except this applies to our tamed creatures after they're tamed up what are we going to be seeing in our stats per level again we can pre-choose this and then if you scroll down a little bit further you'll see tamed dinos add per level and tamed dinos affinity for stats this is going to determine what kind of boost you get every time you put levels into your dino in the game and then when it comes to taming dinos guys you know that the stats are assigned randomly so you can actually boost the affinity for certain characteristics to make sure that when the dino tames up it's automatically going to have a higher health or a higher melee or a higher weight which i think is super cool and you're literally able to boost it all the way around and if you really want to see what all of this turns into go ahead and check off the show floating damage text box down at the bottom and you will see millions and millions of damage being done by these creatures that you've tamed up the sky's the limit just be super creative these settings here are going to make it so that you are unstoppable in the game single player settings are super fun to mess around with and arc really lets you go wild now if you are looking for specific things like breeding settings i already did a hundred percent imprint settings video so make sure to check that one out if you haven't already and of course smash the subscribe button so i don't miss you guys in the next one i'll see you later